Hey there guys, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Double Cube Designs and welcome back to a brand new Illustrator tutorial. And this is gonna be a very different tutorial. Uh, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create print files for your jersey designs or apparel designs completely in Illustrator. Uh, but this is going to be focusing more on jersey design because there are a lot of esports teams that are coming out, a lot of sports teams, and these are not only for just for esports. For example, you have a football team or a soccer team or a sports team, and you guys want to create custom jerseys. How do you create the print files for printing these onto the jerseys is what I'm going to be teaching you guys in this tutorial. So I hope it's going to really help you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into Illustrator and get started. So here I am in Photoshop actually and this is basically a presentation I did for Comic-Con India uh, You know, this is a just a simple jersey design I made so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create uh, the print files for these jersey designs uh, You know for any jersey design uh, rather uh, completely in Illustrator So here I am in Illustrator and I have the picture of my jersey design right over here And uh, this is actually the print file template which I got um, now Every manufacturing company has their own print file templates, so you have to use that to create your print file for the jersey design. Um, so that's one thing. Now, you can't use the same thing for every manufacturer because every manufacturer has a different printer, a different uh, jersey size, cloth, material, and a lot of factors. So when you're printing it, obviously, you have to ask the manufacturer for the print file to create it. So. First things first. Now, what you need to do is make sure you have the colors set. So basically, you need to have your color swatch, color panel, and you need to make sure that you are in the right color mode. Now, as you can see, it says RGB for you over here, but when you're printing, you always need to be in CMYK. Now, you can open up the document in CMYK. Uh, that's option one, but if you're already in RGB like I am and you wanna go into CMYK mode, all you gotta do is go to file, click on document color mode, and you can choose CMYK color and that's CMYK. Now CMYK is uh, gonna be more of a slightly washed out color than the RGB color, but uh, that's gonna be needed when you're creating the prints. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my rectangle tool and I'm gonna zoom in and just gonna go ahead and just create a couple of rectangles. Whoops, all right, just, uh, just a couple of rectangles. I can actually copy this and just move them over, okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press I to get the eyedropper tool. I'm gonna select this one, press I again, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start copying the colors from my jersey, which I'm gonna need for, you know, uh, uh, making the designs over here. So one is gonna be orange, okay? So let's select the next one. We're gonna need a black color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this to a dark black because I know it's a dark black, oops, okay? Uh, then we are going to need this the shade of uh, red for these lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, sample this color, perfect. And what else do we need? Uh, I think I think that's pretty much it that should do. Now let me actually just explain to you as to how the jersey is actually printed. Now, there are a couple of different parts which are separately printed. So the first one is the color over here. And if I zoom in closer, you can actually see it's a separate part. Uh, it's not, that's not how the jersey is made. The front part is one and the color is another and they're stitched together. So that's one. So this is gonna be the front, which is basically the front. This is gonna be the back, which is gonna be the back of the jersey. And these two pockets are basically the sleeves, which are basically these. Now, the part where the arm comes out, which is from here, is this. So anything below this is basically your hand. Um, and this, is, this part is the one which is joined together and rolled up and stitched together. So that's something that you need to know because you need to make sure that you make the design in the actual way so that it comes out actually the way you want it to come. So that's very important to note. So let's start off actually. So obviously for the color, it's uh, not too complicated. Uh, it's just a simple, you know, orange color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get rid of the border and I'm gonna come here to the fill and just apply the same color. There we go. We have our, let's do the same thing over here. Um, so. I'm going to go and I'm gonna get rid of the color over here, which so there's no border. All right, and uh, we are gonna go and double click. Let's actually, let's not double click. We're going to go and apply the same color. So I'm gonna hold on, press I on my keyboard and just click, and that's gonna apply this color over, over here. Right, great. Now, as you can see, we have this black color stripe, which we are going to add right now. 
uh, and the, the rest of the jersey is you know just just plain orange color so obviously since the hand comes out from the black part we are going to go ahead and create a black color rectangle so what i do is i'm going to go ahead and just create a rectangle like so just go ahead and create it like that make sure you have smart guides on so you can go, go to view and choose smart guides uh, smart guides are going to help you to you know align them perfectly and i'm going to go ahead and just change this to a black color color Right, and there you go. Now we want it to, you know, fit inside this because obviously we don't want it to be hanging, which makes no sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, hold down shift, select this. I'm going to right click and choose make clipping mask. So now what's going to happen is we want to get this weird clipping thing, uh, which is basically the wrong object is masking the wrong object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to go here to my layers panel so I see what actually is happening. So as you can see, my rectangle layer, where is it? So it's right over here. Okay, and I have this, which is basically my sleeve. And if I scroll down, you can see it's right over here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go and just bring that rectangle that I created and put it, let's see, bring it down. Right over here on top of that. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select this rectangle and put it below. Okay, but now that means it goes behind. Now, another thing we have to do is we need to create a base outline for each of these objects. And once you create those baselines, whatever colors you add and whatever shapes you add need to fit inside that. So let me just go ahead and show you before, you know, to make you understand better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this path, which is basically this. I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Control C, Control F, which is gonna place it right in front. So now as you can see, I have two copies. Okay, now this one, what I'm gonna do, uh, so uh, two copies over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go remove the fill, Add in a stroke and I'm gonna go and set the stroke to a pure black color, which is black, which is great. Now if I come into my layers panel, uh, what actually has happened as, as you can see, we have a black color path and I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna call this the outline path, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping everything into inside this. So to do that, I'm gonna select uh, this circle, uh, hold down shift select this circle. So both of these are selected, right click and choose make clipping mask. As you can see, if I remove, if I click on this arrow mark, you can see we have the main outline path, and then we have the the fill of the orange color, and then we have this rectangle that we created. I'm gonna just take the rectangle and drop it in as well. As you can see, I can't see the rectangle now. Uh, that's because I need to move this on top, and boom, there we go. We have this sitting perfectly right there, and this is now ready for print. Now this outline path has a black color stroke. <clears throat> now if you want to reduce the opacity of the stroke or make the stroke white or if you don't want the stroke, that's up to you. And that's what well, you, you have to ask the manufacturing um, company as to whether they need it or not. So now I went ahead and just made the same thing for the right side part as well. It's basically the same concept. Uh, so the next thing is uh, to create for the front, which is gonna be the more complicated part of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you how to do the front and then the back is up to you. So let me just explain what actually is happening. Let me move this over to this side. So we have the color. Now this isn't the color because the color is right over here. And uh, as you can see, we have these orange color lines. So the orange color line is gonna move from here to the end over here. And this part is where the color is going to come. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's go and do that actually. So let's go and make sure you don't have anything selected. Press P on your keyboard, grab the pen tool, and then let's just go ahead and just Get ourselves a nice curve okay and make sure that this is going to be on stroke and i'm press escape to get rid of the thing i'm going to select this make sure i am selecting the right color and i'm going to go to the stroke and probably increase this up to say 10. i mean that's that's going to depend on you but yeah All right uh you can increase this how much ever you want so probably i'm going to set this to 25 yeah uh or probably i think 20 is a good amount all right, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy by holding down Alt and just dragging this down. I can rotate it. Basically, you, it's it's your part to create the design. I'm gonna scale this up, okay? All right, and select this and, you know, just move this up a tad, like so. You know, just you just wanna kind of approximate the distance uh, so it gives you a very good idea. Uh, so the next one is uh, this, this huge line that we have. So I'm gonna press P on my keyboard. I'm gonna click, uh, let's say, over here, I guess. Here's a good idea. And then just come somewhere over here and you know, do this. Now this, so you're gonna be, so you gotta be really careful with this because you don't wanna mess that up because it's gonna mess up the printing. And I'm just gonna 
hold on alt click on this anchor point and you know just come here and you know close this up like so and this is going to be i'm going to reverse this so this is going to what we have okay um now let's go ahead and you know just fit everything before so that we can see properly so i'm going to open up my layers panel and uh, let's see we have all these and there is our path so this is our path that we have which is over here so i'm going to go ahead and select all these three paths that we created and just move them over to the bottom and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two so i'm going to click on this hold on shift set like this right click and choose create clipping mask and there you go we have a clip group and everything is in position now this is in the wrong orientation so i'm going to move the path to the top and make sure all these make sure this is on top and then select uh, any of these actually right click and choose create clipping mask and then i can go and you know just start throwing everything inside and boom there we go so now everything is clipped and it looks great and as you can see i i can't see the outline so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and add in a black color stroke and uh, oh you can select it uh double click add in a black color stroke okay now let's go ahead and just add in a black color background for this so i'm going to go ahead and just create a black rectangle which covers basically and the entire thing and this is going to be pure black all right there you go we have a pure black and i'm going to just take the rectangle bring it down and throw this inside the paths over here uh, move this up and awesome there we go it's looking good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to, i want these curves to be the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this this path now if you're not able to select any of these all you can do is just click on the circles like so and that's going to so select that entire object and i'm going to make a copy by pressing uh ctrl c ctrl f and that's going to create a path for me and this time i'm going to go and reverse it and make sure my stroke is set to 25 and just move this over to the side like so Right, so that's basically we are trying that's basically what we are trying to achieve right now you can obviously go and select these paths you can go ahead and move the anchor points whatever you want uh, you can do that all right so let's do this again so let's make a copy by selecting this press ctrl c ctrl f okay and let's move this over a little bit to this side so I just went ahead and made a few small adjustments and make it look more perfect. Now we're going to replicate the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to go and select all of this, uh, which is basically all of these. Make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F, right click, transform and choose reflect. Click on OK. And then just hold down Shift and move everything over to this side, uh, like so. Make sure it, it kind of looks perfect. And that's looking really good right now. That looks that, That's looking great. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and just uh, create this one. I'm gonna I'm not gonna add in the logo right now, but yeah. Now as you can see, this this line which is over here is kind of you know at aligning with the sleeve. So since the sleeve kind of starts over here, I'm gonna put the line somewhere right over here. So I'm gonna go and press P on my keyboard, just you know over here, hold down Shift over here, and you know just make a curve like so, and bam, that's looking good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select this. Uh, okay, so we can come right over here actually if I want to select it perfectly. Where is that? Oh, it's sitting on the top. So I'm going to go drag that to the bottom and put it on top like so. Now we're going to need multiple copies of all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this path. I'm going to come here to the effect, go into distort and transform and choose transform. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have multiple copies. Uh, but before that, I'm going to go and move the vertical to, say, 1. Make sure I click on Preview. And, uh, okay, that's that's fine. Maybe we can reduce this to 0 0.7 or, you know, whatever you think, you know, looks good. Or maybe 0 0.6, I don't know. Okay. And let's increase up the copies to, say, uh, 10 for now. Okay. Uh, and then let's make it to 20. We want 30. Yeah, let's make it 30 and the vertical we can set this to 0 0.8 yeah that's a good distance and all i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just click on okay great so now we have uh this path with a lot of this so what i'm going to do now is go to object and choose expand appearance and that's going to break each of these into individual items and once you 
expand the appearance i can right click and choose ungroup so i can individually start selecting each of uh, these and i can you know go ahead and start editing them so i can just double click to select whichever i want okay so now i just went ahead and made a few adjustments and just selected each of these individually and moved them out now as you can see these are red in color and they have a lower opacity so we're going to do that real quick so i'm going to go and just select all these lines that we have uh, so let's just select all of these lines all right, that should pretty much do and then we're gonna go and uh, come here to our stroke and just select this color and we're going to reverse it and make sure the stroke is set to 20 again as we need it let's come here back to our layers panel and there we go we have all this already now we want to come here to the appearance now and this time reduce down the opacity of this to say something like 20 percent let's zoom in all right or even maybe something like 35 percent and you know just click away and as you can see, we have uh, this cool looking design. And if you want to add in the logo, you just get the logo from uh, the logo file and just place it up over here. So that's pretty much it on how to create the print files for jersey designs in Illustrator. I hope you guys really like this uh, tutorial and, you know, it helps a lot of jersey designers of you out there. Uh, uh, you know, if you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below. Subscribe to my channel for more content and make sure to like the video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.